So, we're currently in the house Castleview Road, ready to drive to Lake Lodge for something new. If you checked out last episode, uh, you'll know why. And what was happening here? Okay, that's good information for me to know. Welcome back, Mr. President. Okay, take two. Welcome back, and we're going to Lake Lodge for something special. Uh, just checking the route there seems pretty familiar, and... Like, we're just gonna take a nice stroll through the countryside for now. In 200 yards, turn left. Turn left. And if you don't know this, this is the Horizon Line van. Like, it has this libraries on the sides. Uh, quite nice, to, as to say. Um, we're going through the south side of Edinburgh. Getting ready to head into the plains. 400 yards. Turn left. quite tall. It seems like all the other AI cars are quite short, actually. Just taking a uh, hundred mile per hour run through here. I mean, I could have gotten a faster car, but I'll take the Horizon Line van since this one's authentic, as it's like based on the episode, like what we're doing right now. Turn right. And gonna take a right turn here. Turn right. Off this highway exit. Don't ask me why there's horizon flags there. Just so it appears that people enjoy them. Yeah, we're just going through the foothills in the spring, which is quite nice actually. But Glenrenock looks terrible in the spring. Like, a lot of you could agree with me. Like, how come there is yellow grass? Like, well, since it snowed in the ma ma mountains, uh, mountains near my neighborhood, uh, and once the snow melted, the grass was yellow. But I think it's kind of a different scenario right here. Just you take the ramp down, enter the house, and let's design some paints and unlock the caddy limo. Hmm, looks nice from the outside. And get in car. Wow, beautiful. This thing looks sick. Like, so now I've picked this thing up in Lake Lodge. 
and then I need to create some paint, which will take a long time. Uh, I should get text stuff and like, what is the best font for this? Yeah, probably this. And. I didn't know you painted. Hey, no, go for it. Get it out there on the Creative Hub so other drivers can like your stuff and use it themselves. I always encourage aspiring artists. Okay, welcome back. Uh, we'll go back in Forza Vista and take a look at this. Wow, this is so beautiful. Can't wait to take it on the road for our first fair. Like, I know the passengers will still be invisible, uh, if you ever liked my thumbnail for Aisha's passengers, uh, that's what the thumbnail said, but so far, here we have this. Our new Cadillac limo. And first of all, we're going to hop on. Um, and take a step in the driver's seat. Close the door. And set it out for the road. Oh, that was the... Fast startup, but this will get us quicker on the road faster. the fastest route to HL headquarters. Oh, it's that way? But I like the scenic route Turn instead. When it is safe to do so. Uh, since we're not in revenue service right now, well, we're heading to one, but there's no passengers, we can cross the Ambleside Creek, or whatever that river route. is called. The speed zone. Turn left. We're going to be blasting Vladimir because my first route, when using the route creator, um, it was centered around getting from a race point to Lake Lodge. Uh, it kind of failed. Depends on what perception you take. Also, why is that AR car stopped there? I uh, don't know why, but at least we're still on the way. Ah! Why are you people crashing into me? Okay, so we're going on this road. But going to dive into this valley. Yeah, the limo. 
moves well, but when you look at it through this view, it seems pretty short. And now we're heading on to, ooh, Mon without fear. Complete it. You AI cars! Like, shouldn't that be an easy way, easier way to get AI off the road? Oh yeah, I know a way. Except we don't have any nearby horizon stories. Ooh! See that there? To the left? Like somebody accidentally missed the danger sign? to crash into AI here entering downtown Ambleside uh, less than half a mile away and then I need to figure out what is the best pickup position because Horizon Line headquarters is right after this bridge house speed zone so Careful about not trying to overspeed. Okay, we've made it here you successfully. Have at your destination. So, um, the spring racing. So the Ambleside race has been completed. So Rebecca will be coming here uh, to hop on the ride. Assuming that she's another invisible passenger, we'll head on to Tarn House to pick up Alex. Okay, that's another check mark. And start up our engines. Our next destination is to Tarn House. And Rebecca's liking it so far. So you know, your first dirt race, Tarn House Scramble, um, is located in Tarn House. <laughs> and there's an ice cream parlor there, so that's why I call it the Dirt Racing Headquarters. Should be getting close to Tarn House now. Like, we have to exit here for the ice cream parlor. And we have to know Rebecca's on board already. And then we have to make another turn. Hopefully the limo can't fit. Ooh, that was close. And let's just park here and find out how far that was. Um, that's 2.1 miles. Fair trade coffee. Outstanding opening times. So, you know, this ice cream parlor at Tarn House. Yeah, I like this place. Okay. Assume that the invisible passenger Alex is on board. Well, you know, you may know who I am. That can quite be confusing, like, here Anna called me Alex until I changed my name to Mr. President. Uh, yeah. Assuming that he's on board now, we'll start up our engines and leave for our next destination. And we'll check this off. 
and don't miss the turn. Starting to become night. Um, our next destination will be at the stunt driver. <laughs> like quite a calm place to be in. And it's been one minute and fifteen seconds since we left Tarn House. <laughs> kind of. Right for this corner. the stunt driver and we'll have to pick up the Mike Steele right here. Destination. Hopefully this is good parking position. According to me that is. Yeah. Parking's an important process to the horizon line. Like I like this neighborhood. I didn't know why I said like twice um, the fourth time by now or just the third time. And assuming that the invisible passenger, Mike Steele, is on board, we now have to back up. Hopefully my skills allow this. Can't really start up, but we can get onto the road right away. Our next passenger is Jay, who's currently resting in his home at the street racing headquarters. Turn right. Like I like these limos. It feels like it feels like I'm driving. Celebrities turn right now. Right. And as I did with the Lancia, I turned in here instead. It's supposed to be a shorter in route. 200 yards, you will arrive at your destination. Okay. Now I have to park in Jimin's home. You have arrived at your destination. You might have thought we were wiggling, but really it's not. Okay, we've steadied to still. Assuming that the invisible passenger Jai is on board, we'll continue. Okay, that was not the best starter. Our next person is Kira at the festival and she's currently lounging out in this area right here right under that's her pickup location dumb navigator why did you try to reroute me there Okay, this is a shorter route, I guess. And this time we'll cross road 44 and nice view of Uppington right horse. And this time the passengers are not the top birds. So we can't see them. We can't hear them! <laughs> Losing speed up here. 
Look, I'm going full circle right now. Recalculating route. And we shorten the gear because road 22 builds are hard. I've experienced it on the portion that was built during the festival ages. Like, to the south of this road, it's beautiful. Yeah, I literally mean beautiful. Sharp right. Looks like we're ready to turn here. Take this shortcut. And they're happy that the horizon line is here to pick up Kira. But it isn't that popular you as before. At your destination. Since many people are now heading somewhere usually known as the Gig in Edinburgh, which is where we're heading next. Okay. Turn around. And it is assuming safe to do so. that the invisible passenger Kira is on board, we'll start up our engines. We have to turn around. Sorry for the wreckage. Sorry, got to live. One hundred yards. Turn right. Let's head on this road through the Horizon Festival. Turn around when it is safe to do so. Recalculating route. Turn around when it is safe to do so. Unfortunately, since many people are heading into the gig, the original scenic route, our original plan road 99, is clogged in traffic and we won't get there in time. The highway, the fastest route, M68, is also backed up, far down to the roundabout, and road 44, where Anna recommends, is also cloaked with traffic too. So I found out that Road 22 would be the best option to get these celebs to the gig on time. And I'm avoiding Princess Street because it's been blocked off because there's people watching the gig lining up there. So I found this back alley route that will hopefully work, avoiding the crowds and the set. Um, so we'll come through here, drive down here, turn here, uh, right now, go down to Cluck Street, turn left here, and come up the Royal Mile for the formal entry. Hopefully that works. But now we have to get going since we can't afford to waste any time. We need to get these VIPs to the gig in Edinburgh on time before the show starts. It's now a great day and we have to go full through. Even though there's traffic, I know this can be a problem. Sliding down the road. Now we're 
driving on the rental approach highways. Homeless passengers, this will be a quick journey. Because Horizon 9 drivers are fast. Yeah. And they've proven to be faster than Aisha's taxi drivers. Which is still me, but for the sake that I enjoy the Horizon line more, my own business, I'll go faster here. And we're blasting it through here. Take this shortcut. Don't bump it. Oh no! Ah! Rewind! Maybe that wasn't enough. Okay, we avoided that crash. But this means we still need to keep our speed. But we now have to get to Edinburgh as quick as we can. Once we're there, we can. We may be able to inform that the lake, but most yards. likely. Turn right. They won't. Unfortunately, I found out that Road 22 is clogged up too. So we're gonna have to take this alternative route. Just to get there. Yeah, I know it's an inconvenience. As usual, we have to run into these. Don't ask me why. But was, but this is still means we don't need to alter that back alley route I told you about before. Don't overturn. We fortunately clipped the fence, but we're now proceeding to the Royal Mile. Which is a pretty fast drag road. Unfortunately, as you've seen in my latest episode, I crashed into a house because the online players were bullying me. Hopefully, we'll, we'll get the speed trap correctly because we're now on the Roman Mile. We need to use this road to get there fast. Turns out the Roman Mile is less crowded than Road 22. We're still 110 miles away. I mean, miles per hour away. Are you kidding me? Yeah, literally. Are you killing me? So then proceed through the suburbs. That's technically the end of the road. Get those celebrities on time anyway. Hmm. But since we're approaching Edinburgh, I may be able to tell them. You have arrived at your destination. Finally arrived at the Edinburgh Castle. Now it's been a great time delivering these people to the gig. And assuming they'll get off now, like we'll just end this small recording right here and wait until later.
fiddling around under the hood? You know, you can share those specs. Let other drivers use them. Make even more of a name for yourself around here. What'd you say?